Well, we made it. It's a hell of a lot of work today. Got a great campsite though, really happy with it. But I got the dogs fed. Now I just gotta get some wood, get my tarp up, get some dinner made for me, get myself fed. And tomorrow should see us passing through this river and making it to the big river, which we're gonna head upstream on it and uh, yeah, look for a good spot for a base camp. I've been lying in the canoe for about half an hour and I don't I know I don't have too much further to go until I'm into the next river, a big lake on the next river. But I have no idea how much how much longer I'm gonna have to lie in the canoe like this. Oh well, beats portage in anyhow. through it. The main lake's just over there and into the river that we're looking for. Just finished my last portage for the day. It was a doozy, about 800 meters. I think I've done five or six, plus a bunch of lining and dragging the canoe along, so I'm getting pretty tired. And it looks like there's a huge cascade just up river there, so I'm not gonna try and go past that. We'll just paddle up a ways, try and find a good spot to camp and uh, cook some grub.
end of the last portage here for today. Greeted by this beautiful uh, little pond, just smooth as glass. Everything's still. The sun set about uh, 45 minutes ago, so we're just at the last of the light right now. There's a nice campsite just across the river. I'm gonna head over there and get set up. It's gonna be a nice night, long night, but uh, a nice night. Just a cold morning this morning. My socks were froze solid. My boots were froze solid. There's frost on everything. It's hard to get out of that sleeping bag. I can tell you that. Just making some oatmeal now. Been nursing my feet in front of the fire all morning. Got some maple sugar. This was made by the Wooded Beardsman on YouTube. I met him on my way up here. We've been chatting for, oh, I don't know, 10 months now. So uh, thanks, Chris. Not much further to go. And I'm gonna set up camp. How to, there's a big lake. I wanna hang around and do some fishing on. It's kind of windy today, so I don't think it'd be a very good idea to, to fish out in the, the big lake, but might be able to get some fishing done in the bay. So we'll see, I'm planning on hanging around there for a few days.
We made it. At the top of the river, beginning of the lake. Stoked to be up here. The country has really changed since uh, started out. Even the water's different. This water's nice and clear. River we started on is a typical uh, tea stained, real dark black lake. So, seeing a lot more jack pine now. Trees are really uh, spread out. A lot of bare rock everywhere. Real nice Canadian shield. Gained a lot of elevation, so makes sense. Yeah, it's beautiful. I got a lot of work to do though. Gotta feed the dogs, make camp, get wood. Morning. Sounds like the dogs knocked my uh, my tarp over. The bastards. So, take a look outside, see the damage. Oh man. Yep. Switched my tarp set up to one that'll hold up against some pretty strong winds. I got the coffee on. It's gonna be a day of reading. I was hoping it'd be a day of monster lake trout. I've been dying to come to this lake for years. I've wanted to get into this lake. Now I'm here. And it's raining, and it's too windy to go canoeing. It's some big water. Oh, so sad. The wind's kind of coming in gusts. It's little uh, little breaks in between where it's not too bad. I'm getting pretty bored in here, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take the chance and head out on the lake.
legends were true. Oh, I'm so glad that I put in all that work to get up to this lake. Yeah, those are some beautiful lake trout. Real nice, gonna be eating good tonight. That is a good fish. Mm. It's still raining. This is crazy. Thankfully I've got a nice stockpile of wood under my tarp. I use that to get my fire going and established and then what I've been doing is just cutting wet wood and throwing that on there so that's what I'm doing right now getting ready for nighttime I want to make sure that in the morning I have a nice stockpile of wood left Probably start heading back tomorrow. My food is, uh, I've got a little less than half of what I brought out. So I, I packed pretty light on the food um, for me, just because I was already bringing all that dog food for the dogs. I didn't want to pack any heavier. So I've been kind of depending on the, on the fish. And so far that's, that's worked out just fine. So I don't think that'll be a problem. It's going to take a few days to get out of here, maybe longer, if another storm rolls through. So I want to give myself just a little extra time, just in case. I don't want uh, people calling the choppers in to find me. So I'm just going to warm up with this pine needle tea here and uh, have an early night. Get a good start in the morning. Hopefully the rain stops. Something's got the dogs upset. Wind's blowing that way. I've been cooking, cooking here for a couple days now. Wondering if it's a, a bear sniffing us out, checking things out. Very likely it could be. It's probably a good time to be moving on.
I broke my tripod. This isn't just detached, the plastic is broken. Well, I'm glad it happened now rather than the beginning of the trip, but that's a bummer. We're just at uh, one of our earlier camps, slowly making our way back. Camera angle is going to be pretty limited, so I'll have to excuse that. Just getting some coffee on before I head out to fish. We got one. He's going to go straight in the pot. It'll be a good meal for me and the dogs. Another day in the wilderness. Another day in the north. It's beautiful out. Overcast, but at least it's not raining. I have blue skies this morning. Got all my stuff dried out. I've just been gorging myself on uh, Bannock all day. That's pretty much all I've got left. I've got a little tiny uh, heel of salami and uh, a quarter bag of um, flour, just a small bag. So I've got a couple days travel. Definitely going to need to pick up some fish. But uh, yeah, I've just been reading all day. Been doing some thinking about the, the tripod situation and I think I'm just going to put the camera away and stop worrying about uh, filming. I didn't come out here just to shoot a video. Came out here because I want to be out here. First and foremost, uh, the video is, is secondary. So I'm just going to put it away and enjoy myself and trust you guys enjoy the video and uh, really feel like, feel good about it, feel good about what I captured and I hope you feel that way too and you guys enjoy it and I'll, uh, I'll see you on the next one. Happy trails guys.